Right, I'm astonished with the reception the last video did. It's done 10,000 views in five days. The channel's nearly at 4,500 subs. We're getting very close to the old subscriber count of the original channel. We've only like 15 videos, so thank you guys so much for all the support. It's absolutely amazing. So, the rose tinted glasses are now off, and um, there's quite a lot wrong with this car that we're going to be showing you uh, later on in the video. But uh, you guys love some ASMR content, so we're going to be giving this car a bit of a bath. Um, for the first time in 10 years. It's covered and all this sort of algae lichen stuff. Um, we've got some strong intense soap to get that off. So we're basically gonna give it a clean and then we're gonna show you um, <clears throat> a bit of a rot assessment basically. And uh, there's a lot of rot to assess, <laughs> trust me. Um, what happens when you buy a car is even someone who's experienced with these like me, the first time you see it, you get the rose tinted glasses on. So the best thing is to put it in your garage or your friend's garage or wherever, walk away from it and then come back another time. Now I've come back and, uh, well, John came back and poked a screwdriver and revealed various issues with it. So, um, it poked a bit too far in some places. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, so there we are. But no, we're, we're going to give it a bit of a wash purely for the purposes of entertainment. We're going to do a bit of a time lapse, I think. And um, then we're going to get the proper camera out. Well, not get the camera out. We're going to get the video mode back on and, um, yeah, we're going to uh, see how bad this beast really is. So, soap time? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to address something. Someone in the last video did some comment that I was oh, apparently treating you like shit. Oh, saying that Aaron was talking to me like I was thick. No, the engine tried screaming its head off, so we were shouting at each other. When you shout at people, you make them sound like idiots. That's what happens. Yeah, also I had to shout because it was really loud. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't hear shit because the saxo was running and this thing's going... Bah! That's the way things go. Without turbo sounds. <laughs> no, that's just me going... Bah! That's turbo sounds. <laughs> and with that, time lapse time. Right, so as you can see, this has made the world of difference, or a world of difference, whichever one you want to say. Um, the car looks really good. Unfortunately, it doesn't look good underneath, which is what we'll be showing you next after this quick walk around. So, you can see that it's got on its original dealer plates, and you can see just the gunge that was on it. Um, all that was just absolutely layered all over the car. Um, the rear bumper is actually pretty straight. The chrome is actually pretty good on this car. The front's good, the back is good. Um, it's got a stainless rear half, or half a stainless system on it. Rear bumper's not the best. No, but it, it, it's all right. Um, if we walk around here, you can see it does look a lot better. Now, if I put this car on eBay, you would think, oh, this is a great little project for someone, but uh, looks can be deceiving, as we will be showing you very shortly. Now, we're going to get 100 comments saying, why the hell did you wash this car? Well, to be honest, it was just a bit of fun, a bit of entertainment, and no, we didn't put water on the top half of the car uh, where the sunroof is, because I want to preserve that interior, because it's going to go in kismet, because this car is beyond economic restoration. Now, someone could spend a fortune on it to do it up, but uh, I will not be doing that. And I really do need parts for Kismet, so this car is going to serve its original purpose as a donor car. The rose tinted glasses are off, and uh, we're looking at cold, hard reality, and you will be very shortly. Uh, this wing is rotten. It's got rust in it. The front bumper is okay. Uh, it doesn't look too bad. Um, you can see the chrome's quite bright. Um, it looks all right, so... That rhymed. <laughs> chrome, chrome looks bright and it looks all right, but uh, all is not all right under it. So as you can see on screen now, there are some photos of this car. It used to be green. 
um, so it was painted white at a later date. And as you can see, as I said in the last video, there's actually avocado green here on some of these panels. Um, this car has had loads of different panels on it because this looks like scarab blue on these doors. Um, so that's definitely been changed. And again, the same for back here, some sort of blue, maybe. Um, it was... No, it's going to be scarab blue. It may be Atlantis blue, I don't know. But uh, it's blue, anyway. Blue blue. Blue blue, yeah. There's a Kevin reference there. Um, yeah, this wing looks pretty good. As I said, we're going to do what the Native Americans do. We're going to use every part of this beast on Kismet. Um, well, not every part. John wants some bits for a car we haven't announced yet. Um, the front wing looks really good. That door looks bad. The back door looks quite all right. This one's bad. That's not too shabby. Mm. Decent wing guard mirrors on there. Uh, this rear wing looks okay. And these trim panels... Mm, I'm missing, might, I'm might missing be one. So I know, I know. I love the might rubbish be, ones. Might be savable. We'll, we'll see. But uh, I love the one off the dark rover. Watch what's really fall. a mind blow is that you can just about see that it says John there. Now, I swear to God, we didn't do this. No, we didn't. I thought that when it turned up before I saw it, you'd come along and gone, John. But but I didn't. It's in my garage. But I didn't but do he it. Swears down he did. No, I really didn't. And it's very ironic that this car has turned up here and we washed it and I've given this a scrub but that is like baked in like it was engraved it was, yeah. in when it was dirty and then the sun John. just burnt it in <laughs> also this has had a red boot lid yeah and the uh, <laughs> decker panel used to be beige yeah I think that might have been almond at one time maybe tobacco leaf actually beige. yeah probably tobacco leaf but uh there we go. Anyway, it's now time for the important part. Um, we're going to get under it and... Look at the crispiness. Yes, and believe me, it's a lot worse than it looks. I do you want to hear some rear death noise? It's not connected. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot wrong with this car, and we're going to show you that. Well, now's a good time. Right, it's time for cold, hard reality time. So, we're going to take you around this entire car and show you the rot now. The first thing I noticed was the corner here. The bottom boot is rotten, so I'm gonna show you this. I mean, that's that's a hole not right there. Now, the rust is. It should not do this. No, I mean this isn't anything that's fatal. No, this isn't. This, this, fatal. Is, this isn't fatal, but there is fatal rust in this car. Also, it's the exact same like this on the other side. Well. When I say fatal, really quite bad rust, critical rust. Um, just the rust you can see that this battery tray is also actually pretty far gone. Yeah, this goes round and underneath. Yeah. I mean, that is, that's quite a nasty hole. Again, this is not the worst of it. This is nothing. It gets way worse than this. <laughs> now, we can't show you because there's spare boots and spare wheels in it. But that hole there in the boot, there is basically the exact same one down in that corner. Yeah. You can see that corner's gone. You actually see what's inside the car. Um, the diff uh, if you move your head out is, the car, is not actually attached. The diff is just bouncing around under the car. Which is not ideal, to say the least. You can also see, if I get right under here, that that's pretty frilly there. That is, yeah, that's where I was meaning. Yeah, that's the other hole we were talking about. Um, also, the spare wheel area is gone too. Oh, this side's worse. And this side, again... I'm barely pushing on this. ...is also... Cheese. Yeah, pretty much. Right, so we're going to go to a normal area, which oh, is the deepest. Yeah, I will also add, we can't see it because we can't get in the wheel arches. Both wheel arches. Have a nice little bit of pigeon shit plates put over it. Yeah, it's had some bad repairs. So, if you want to open up the rear door for me. So, in the in the actual well, it's it's not bad, but this is actually being filled. There's actually filler all along there. So, not really ideal. If you shut the door a minute, we're gonna hop underneath it now. And you can see that it's actually had quite a lot of welding before. Rubbish welding. Yeah, and this back bit's quite frilly. Um, 
this here is a whopping gate plate. Yeah, there is. The it's it's had some there. questionable repairs, to say the least. You can see the spots there. If you uh, move forward a minute, I'm going to show them the front jacking points. We've actually got the big light now, so we can put yeah, the phone it torch away. Under, it won't get under the car, or do you want me to grab it? Yeah, just if you can grab it and we'll shine it underneath a minute. This interior is good. <laughs> The thing is though, people don't understand that spares cars are important. I mean, there, if there weren't any spares cars, there would be no source of spare parts at all. And that would be a real problem. Um, because again, not everything you can get secondhand. There's literally, there's a huge debate on the P6 Club page about me and about, am I, is it wrong for me to break P6s that are, like that. I mean, that's nothing. That's flat work. No, but again, that's not inner really, and outer. Yeah, it's worse. And it's it's all along here. Look, it's gone all the way along, and you can see it's had some bad welding here. Pigeon crappy, terrible plates. Really not very good at all. Yeah, it's crispy and the here. exhaust system's like... held together with wire by the <laughs> looks of it. Um, but the critical thing is the f the front area. So one of the most important structural areas on a P6 is the front cross member. And um, yeah, that's pretty bloody bad. That This is supposed to be like the, one of the strongest parts of the car. And it is just absolutely red rotten. All this is totally really gone. All around this area. The whole lot is immensely crusty. And the thing is, people comment saying, oh, it's just a hole, but it's rotted all along the inside. You've got to remember, this is a hollow thing, so water's actually in here. And so it's 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 going to be rotten all along here. Also, it's look, not looking very clever up here either. It's around the mountains and it's, it's red rotten here, which is really not good. I haven't actually had many P6s with rot there. Um... It's fairly unusual, but well, from the ones I've had, but but yeah, it's it's that's really not good, and it's exactly the same down here as well. It's all gone on this front part. That's actually a plate that someone's put over it to try and cover the to, <laughs> to try and cover up this rot. But someone's actually just plated over that, which is really less than ideal. Um, it, it, the thing is though that people comment saying this car's doable and yeah it is but it's not economically no and, and this is what people don't understand no one who's trying to make money is going to do this car up because how much is involved I mean I'm not I didn't buy this car to make money I've bought P6s to make money you guys know that I bought this car as a spares donor car for Kismet, and that's what it's going to be used as. If it, if, if this cross member wasn't that badly gone, I probably would have sold it um, to someone to restore it. Um, I might sell it without the engine and some bits. I don't know yet, um, but but the rot is really bad. So, you know, bear in mind if anyone's would want, you know, be interested in this as. A car with, you know, without an engine and exhaust system and a few other bits, basically a total resto. Um, you know, let me know. But again, realistically, it's just going to be stripped because I couldn't really sell this to anyone because, you know, there's so much money and so much work that would need to be done. Um, I just couldn't. I just couldn't take money for this because it's just, it's just so so bad it looks even worse in person um so it's just going to be a donor car i'm afraid because I, I couldn't take money for this i mean look at the state of it you know it's worth scrap as well well it's it's i wouldn't say scrap but there's lots of good parts on it um i mean look the bumper for example is not rotten underneath and the chrome's good and there's, there's some good spares on it but again it's strictly a donor car um yes it's sad because it's a late reg car we the last car officially off the line and um, was a 2.2 TC. Um, we were hoping that this one would be a really really late one and possibly one of the latest, but no, it's just a 2.2 TC. 
that uh, on an, to be on a 77 plate. Yeah, exactly. Um, so there we are. Anyway, we're going to move the camera around to the other side because there's more rot. It doesn't end here. Holy. Here you can see the exhaust held on with string. <laughs> well, it's wire, but but still. Um, as, as far as this side, the worst of it is here. Um, that is a bloody great hole. And may I have the screwdriver of pokiness? Well, you've got it. No, it should be by the front there. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> screwdriver pokiness. I can't see. Ow. <laughs> but that is the entire floor. And that's literally carpet I can feel through there. Yeah, the carpet like the steel. That Probably. is absolutely buggered. This is not good by any stretch of the imagination. That is so, so good. That whole front floor is totally gone. Yeah, that, that's totally and utterly buggered. And bear in mind, this is only rot we can see. You know, take the wings off. There's probably going to be even more like this. In fact, I know there's going to be more like this. Yeah, that's just absolutely toast, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's, that's literally the carpet through there. It's I'm pressing on the carpet. Soft that is... Full of brown stuff. <laughs> yeah, it, it's absolutely red rotten. And you can see here that it's actually had welding done before. Not very well. The, the couple I bought it off said it had been fully restored, but obviously not. <laughs> well, it's it's, it's been... been some, the, 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 whoever's done it has just plated most of it and did a quick spray in white. That's about it. Um, the back half of this looks actually okay, but... Depost the same sort. Yeah. It, but, I mean, it's there, but it's not the finest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that floor is so, so bad. That is really rotten. Um, might as well show them the uh, back. Will, will, the, will the cable reach far enough to I'll go to the back? I'll go around the other way. Okay. Then it will reach. Yeah. Right, so here's the depost. And you can see it's looking pretty suspicious there. That's that's fillery. All cracked. Yeah. You want to give it a stab with a screwdriver or have, I, have you got it? I mean, it's hard filler, but it if it's is starting filler. to crack, because one, the paint's crap, and two, look here. Mm. I reckon if you got we'll a sit like under this seat well, and we have a look under that, this side. Not yeah. this side, I don't think, if have you can get in there. Yeah, I can oh, get in there. It's all right, hang on. I mean, it's not rotten in there. Does it look plated though? Um, yeah. It's had a whacking great plate here. So now where you can see that, this is a complete plate here, so it's probably rotten under that plate. I think someone's just, just plated over a lot of it. It's had a bodge job, basically. But it does have a set of rear seat belts, which is quite, quite surprising. You want them? Yeah. They're quite scarce, but uh, yeah, well, I mean, all this, all this under here, under this deck of panels, going to be, it's gonna be bad. red rotten. Because you've got to bear in mind, P6s don't rot from the outside in; it's inside out. Yeah, if they're rotten on the it's, outside. This, then. this, this Britax, its not all Basto, um, is actually repairable. So, so I've got to buy for that. That's going to come off because someone will transplant this middle section um, onto another roof because the middle section and the fabric's actually good on this. So. And even that's if the good. fabric is bad, you get it redone. It's more mm. the fact that the mechanism is there and it's. it's Could you pop the bonnet a minute? Yeah, we can go. We'll the just. Um, we wanna. Move the light around. Maybe if we cut and come back. That's nah, all right. <laughs> We're back to amateurs again. Yeah, oh, you got to be in a small garage. <laughs> uh, bonnet popped, or do you want me to do it? I'll do it. It's all right. No, you just hold that. You hold the torch. Okay, I'll, I'll hold the light. Hold the line. Hold the light cooler. And there we go. That popped up really easily. Yeah. It's a shame because I, I don't like breaking P6s. People have got this bizarre warped idea that I, some, I get some kick out of breaking. I like breaking P6s and I don't really like the cars. As you can tell we didn't clean that, the, that, here. You know, they think that, oh, you know, I don't actually like the cars. I only do it for money. I was like, well, if I didn't like the cars, why would I buy so many of them? And why would I save them when no one else is? I mean, that's not true. There are lots of people doing it, but not to the extent I have recently. Um, you know, I wouldn't be buying these cars. And 
There goes Electric Fan. Noel's fan. <laughs> um, I wouldn't be going all over the place, all over the country, buying these cars if I didn't care. Um, so here's what I'm quite suspicious about. Um, the heater box. The fan does work. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Sh I'm. I'm pretty sure it's going to be rotten under the heater box, which is the top of the bulkhead. Um, the problem with these, the, the problem with the P6s is, is they've got rain gutters, and you can see the gutters clog up with crap, and the moisture sits and rots them out. That's one of the biggest issues with these cars. So I'm not sure if it's going to be rotten underneath that heater box. It could well be, but um, yeah, I mean, it's a donor car. It's going to put Kismet, you know, sort Kismet out and good interior and blah, blah, blah. So, oh yeah, and um, and John's and uh, yeah, it's just going to help. This this car will keep low, like, you know, maybe a dozen others on the road with bits and bobs. As someone said, I think Adam Piper said it, you know, Sheldon is breaking these cars that are buggered and give and giving people access, P6 owners access to thousands of unobtainable parts. So... You know, if one car that's basically beyond economic restoration has to die in order to save 10, 12 cars, I mean, I think it's worth the sacrifice, really. And realistically, not many people are going to be willing to spend 10 grand to get this car mint when it's going to be worth 5 grand. I mean, I know that's not why people do it. I mean, Kismet's easily going to cost me 10,000 quid. You know, by the time it's done, I'll probably have a total of 13, maybe 15 grand in it, and it will be worth like 6 grand. But it's not about that. It's about bringing back something from the dead. But uh, sometimes you need donor cars to keep others on the road, and that's the case with this. But uh, there we are. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I don't know if I'm going to shoot any more videos on this car. I probably won't. Um, I probably won't because, again, you've basically seen everything you need to see. Um, the car is economically beyond restoration. Um, it's sad, but that's the way it goes sometimes. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching this series. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, share. We have social media, Instagram and Twitter. And um, yeah, thank you for watching. There's also channel memberships for those who want to access videos early. Um, I will be doing exclusive membership streams and things like that uh, when we have enough people. But uh, there we are. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, until next time, bye for now. Here's a go.